This is for you Aquarius. December is the month of the angelic frequencies of the gemstone turquoise. Your birthstone is amethyst Aquarius. So what we need to do is see how these two gemstones resonate with each other. I'm Pastor Rosemary, Astrology Angel. Thank you for joining us. If you want to contact me, uh, you can visit www.readingsbyrosemary.com where we provide you with information on our spiritual consultations. You're uh, also able to get Psychic Astrology or Rosicrucian Kabbalah as well as various classes and seminars, Healing Wings of Light seminars, those kinds of things. December's Gemstone of Turquoise has the light emanations of the Astrology Archangel Nachiel and your Zodiac sign Gemstone of Amethyst has the properties of light bestowed by the Zodiac Archangel Cambriel. Stay right here as we give you the gemstones particular to your ruling planets of Saturn and Uranus because Aquarius blue sapphire, amethyst and lapis lazuli are the precious stones used to align oneself with the energies of the planetary angel Cambriel who was assigned to the planet Saturn in Kabbalah. Planetary Archangel Zafkiel is also associated with Saturn with the purpose of angelic names applying attenuated light frequencies corresponding to this Lord of the Ringed Planet generating substantial though restrictive levels of bestowal through uh, law also adulation or adoration and acquired possessions as well as property so be mindful of your own intentions and potency when utilizing these powerful gemstones in unison with each other the planetary angel Cassiel is also associated with the archangel Zafkiel and is assigned to the planet Saturn and the Sephira of Binah in Kabbalah among the order of the uh, angels called the Eralim this attribute of God is evoked using the God name of Yahweh Elohim or Yetkevavke Elohim. The representation of this aspect of divine presence is seen as the ability to reveal and conceal regarding the principle of double concealment in Kabbalah where Saturn and Benah represent the outer robe of concealment. The concealment spoken of refers to the forbidden facets of the Creator which become attainable when the intention of the Magus is corrected to serve always the Creator. So always uh, this is these are writings from from the Zohar and Kabbalistic writings from Bala Salam and, and all of these things. They're, they're very deep writings and and this thought of double concealment and understanding it and then correction and the revelation the double revelation is is uh, is important to understanding the two parts of of the Creator and, and the the right and left hand and how the Creator uh, is able to move the creature towards the the pinnacle of creation where the creature becomes uh, one in semblance of form with the Creator. Uh, you can also, uh, a very good book to read would be The Keys of Enoch also. Uh, there, there's, uh, there's a Keys of Enoch by J.J. Uh, Hertak is also a very important book that expresses some of these truths as well. Saturn is known as God the Lord Giver found in Genesis 2 16 to 17 and he commanded him saying of every tree of paradise thou shalt eat but of the tree of knowledge of good and evil thou shalt not eat for in what day soever thou shalt eat of it thou shalt die the death 
Uranus is the second ruling planet of Aquarius, having associations with the gemstones of Adventurine, uh, Labradorite, and Blue Topaz. The planetary angel Ariel, also associated with the archangel Uriel, is assigned to the planet Uranus in popular Kabbalistic associations. The placement of the planet Uranus and thus its Kabbalistic correspondences upon the tree varies widely, widely, and therefore the assignment of the archangel, angel, divine name, and Sephira vary among ancient and modern sources, many of which have merit. Some place Uranus alongside the Prima Mobile on the Sephira, in the Sephira, in the Sephira of Keter, assigning the divine name Eheye, uh, the Archangel as being Metatron, and the Angelic Choir as Cheoth Ha Kadesh. Other sources place Uranus in the Sephira of Chokhmah, while still others assign Uranus to the invisible Sephira of Da'ath. In Enoch, in 1st Enoch uh, uh, 10, the book of 1st Enoch 10, then said the Most High, the Holy and Great One spake, and sent Uriel, the son of Lamech, and said to him, Go to Noah and tell him in my name, Hide thyself and reveal to him the end that is approaching, that the whole earth will be destroyed. And a deluge is about to come upon the whole earth, which will destroy all that is on it. And now instruct him that he may escape and his seed may be preserved for all the generations of the world. This is the book of Enoch by R. H. Charles in 19. 17. Now these types of, of writings are talking about the earth, they're, what, they're, what they're talking about are spiritual uh, dimensions. They're not talking about anything in the physical plane. They're talking about spiritual dimensions, spiritual ideas, and that's about the destruction of the of the of the thought of the idol of the thought that there's anything other than the creator the creator is all that there is according to the ancient writings and that we've mentioned in the ancient kabbalistic writings there there are not I, idolatry is not great artwork Idolatry is when someone thinks that there are, that there's a good and a bad force and that the two forces oppose each other. Of course, that has, that, that is set up that way by the creator in order to be able to produce the third, you know, like, it's like synth synthesis and, and, um, uh, I'm sorry, I can't remember all that right now, but you understand it. It's, it's when you take the, the two and you, you make the third by having the third as being uh, the, the temperate middle ground that incorporates all of these things, the antithesis and the synthesis and, and what's in the center. Uh, so, the, I know it's the Hegelian dialectic. I'm sorry, I can't think of all that right now. But with that said, Creator does that in order to build something, to build that third column. And in, in Kabbalah, it's the center, the middle pillar. Because nothing can, can survive physically in all mercy or all light, and nothing can survive in all darkness and all restriction. There has to be a nexus between the two. And that's where people are able to have a physical life expression. So that's what they're talking about. They're talking about where it seems that there's two forces when actually it's the creator using the uh, like like the pharaoh of Egypt with his with his hands crossed with the whip and the kiss you know and the carrot and the stick 
to bring the creature to its highest expression and make it happy to to fill it with happiness and delight and 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 pleasure not to make it suffer and if one realizes this then that doesn't mean that that there is never a difficult moment but it means that it becomes much less difficult so these these are very important concepts to understand now earnest is known as the attribute of God from the heavens found in John 151 and he saith to him amen amen I say to you you shall see the heaven opened and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the son of man of course this is uh, it's, it's similar to Jacob's ladder and the ascending and descending angels your air guardian archangel Raphael speaks through to you from your Aquarius astrology archangel who is Cambriel this is an angelic horoscope transmission from your Aquarius zodiac angel Cambriel who resides over the water bearers fixed air nature and here are his messages for you in love money and health first Cambriel's love rapture and romance transmission the purple angelic like frequencies of Cambriel combined with the energies radiating from the December gemstone of turquoise generate noticeably abundant blessings especially when joined with Aquarius's amethyst gemstone restoring your relationships and a great alchemical amalgamation incorporating the water bearer with traditional December moodiness bringing out the purifying properties of the gem which distill the vortex centers of the heart chakra through the stability of the root chakra and the validation and the justification of the of the throat chakra that's your your will expressed through your throat chakra and to attain the how it, it's expressed in Kabbalah attain the speaking level above the human level because there are various levels being uh, inanimate and animate and vegetative and and uh, all the way up to human animal human and all the way up to speaking level now for the money and wealth transmission from Cambriel finances respond well to amethyst and turquoise which allow you to incorporate into your auric field that what is is given to you from a place of distinction and high regard the source of all bestowal is the central point of stillness which is maintained in a constant state of potentiality the throat chakra is balanced with December's gemstone allowing you to speak up for yourself with more comfortable self-assertion Cambriel's health and fitness transmission health becomes attainable for all with the use of amethyst and turquoise during December's harmonizing your throat chakra with your root chakra as well as the crown chakra the latter being the seat of the deep inner soul great healings take place within the realm of the seekers ability to perceive the true center of the self from where all life emanates outward from a single central point of nothingness becoming healed when the decision is made to be well for all reality stems from a desire that then forms a thought for the purpose of fulfilling the original longing to heal take full responsibility for all that you behold each day for you have created it a disclaimer is in order here high magic may be dangerous as is intended exclusively for entertainment purposes remember to chant your divine tone of I know or try out the higher aspect of simply meditating on the quality of knowing and be wise be well be all you are meant to be Aquarius thank you for joining us and join us again next time